Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing playthrough of Fallout 4 Clear the Map. I'm sitting here. There's a very white Batman, white armor, pink, orangish undersuit. Very stylish. Looks like a creamsicle. Okay. We've got Kent's costume. So let's head on back and give the nice little guy a shout. Let him know uh, we've made his dreams come true. Peace, brother. Let's talk to Cleo real Cleo. quick. Don't Always worry. check weapon vendors' I inventories. The weapons on customers I don't uh huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Let's take a look. A gun for every occasion. Just take a gander. You never know when you're going to have something with uh, better receivers or suppressors. In my case, those are two things I'm really looking for. I always want suppressors. And for my uh, combat rifle, I want a 308 receiver. So, see, everything's 45 still. She's starting to get some, some better weapons, but nothing that's going to really, really help me out yet. So, because remember, anytime you, you can buy one of these, take the component off of it. Like, there's another 50 cal. I already have a 50 cal. Um... And you can uh, pop it off of that gun and pop it on whatever gun you want of the same type. Instead of having to have the, you know, the um, skill level for it, the perk. Fortunately, that doesn't count with armor. So that's why we have to have to up our armor skill. You can take some mods, but as far as like, I don't think you can take... I never would find a level 4 ballistic weave on anything anyway. But... Uh, I don't think you could take the ballistic weave off something and putting on something else. Better keep your iron strapped on. Hey, strapped, buddy. That's some good deals. You won't believe what's in the is it food or not section. It is not food. I'll take a look. Sure. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. Good sales pitch. Like it. She's not the, the best... Uh, Weapon vendor. She's got a little bit of armor, but she's kind of more of a I have a little bit of everything type thing. Wraparound goggles. I end up getting those. Those look pretty good with the combat helmet, I think. I think they're kind of made for that. More space age. As we go along, you know, I'll try to mix and match some some armors and stuff if we find some more good legendary stuff. And I don't want to be just the same look throughout. But I'm not going to go backwards in our damage reduction, you know, or anything like that, just for the sake of fashion. I'm not that crazy. Especially when we get up to, to very hard level. And yeah, we are eventually going to get there. As soon as I feel confident that we can function, I still would like to not die again. Add to my allegedly... Brotherhood of single total of, of a death fucking Kellogg looks like we got enough it's funny because if this was the first time that I'd ever played this game or one of the first times I'd be dead multiple times now you know you you do get memorized a few things so that you can handle I got your them better. costume Kent you could and walk some into some shit you might like. if you're not careful she is pretty as the posters Get a Yagwai up the ass. In memorabilia too? Yes, sir. There's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Never take money from Kim. I like him After too much. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or... or his butler, Jarvie Blake. Robin. But the Shroud is strong. Ooh, Robin. Capable. Gobbin. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea. This guy's voice wear. reminds me of you that actor. Um, I think it's Michael Rappaport. Just like him. That Except tall, probably blonde, curly-haired guy. By mobsters. Sure, it's not him, but it just it reminds me of it. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. All right. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. 
Time to fight crime. Calm it down, buddy. Now, I would like to, in these first few missions for him, it's very close quarters. And with, with this look, with the hat and the armor, um, I'd love to use the spray and pray. But with my, every time you, you up your explosive perk, that counts for explosive bullets too. So their range is further, you know, the, the explosive damage is, is more. So if I'm at close close range, I have a very good chance of murdering myself. Look how suave I look. I don't know if this is the de uh, detective as much as like a, an actor from the, you know, from the thirties or something like that. Maybe it's the scarf that does it. Shroud costume. Hey, no Damn right. But ain't that a kid show? You're walking around with that hairdo and making fun of me. Let's go pop in before we start these Silver Shroud missions. I want to try to complete our look a little bit, you know. Oh, crap. Of course, it's nighttime. Any vendors awake? I want a new, uh, a new dude. Looking for a haircut. The salon's open in the morning. Damn it, John. Do all you outsiders wear such fun Fine. Clothes? We'll go make fun oh, of the robot. Cool. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't want no, your damn noodles. Not now. Excuse me, can I talk to you a minute? Oh, who's that? Somebody's mad at me. Oh, that's Paul's wife. Forgot she tracks you down. Hey, do you know where my husband is? How did you I recognize so. me in this costume? You remember me? You were in the tap house that time Paul made such a fool of himself trying to fight Henry. Now he's missing. Paul, I mean, it's not like him, and I'm worried something's happened to him. Are you... Your Have meal you ticket gone, lady? Well, that's the thing. Henry's missing, too. Which is what makes me really worried about I know a lady named Darcy in real life. One of the sweetest ladies I know. Why are this you asking me? disgracing her name. I barely know him. I know Paul talked to cheater, you. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You know. Oh, he was so upset. I thought maybe you might know something. Paul's dead. Oh my god. How do you... Do you know what happened? Um, maybe. What is it? Should I just say I killed him? It doesn't matter. Nah, I don't want to. She might pull out a gun on me. It doesn't matter at all now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Go raise your kid. Be a mommy. There's plenty of other eligible bachelors. Look at that guy over there holding the bat in the, in the, the security uniform. Go date a cop. Okay, can I can I wait here? What the hell? Am I losing my mind? Or is it maybe because he keeps trying to talk to me? That's probably what it is. No. No, not, not now. now. Shut up, robot. There it is. Okay. Look at me, expert Fallout player. I'm going to sit on this bench or this stool for 10 hours. My ass is falling asleep. There we go. Everybody's awake. Come on, give me a new do. I think you would look great with just a quick trim. Sure. All right. Take a seat. Okay. Let's see what kind of a a do in a in a stash would look good for a an old actor. Or a detective or a crime fighter. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Boy, these things are taking a long time to load. Come on. This thing should be going faster than this. Well, I thought I was gonna just go through the whole thing and <laughs> but I'm not gonna wait for all these things to load. I like the lower half ones just because they actually have facial hair and it's not just like a a shader on your face when you get up top. Scruffy beard. I'll probably end up being the survivalist or doomsday prep. Doomsday prepped. That's what you look like after a few weeks out in the out in the wasteland. You know, I I like that. 
for this character anyway. I wouldn't. I don't think I could maintain a beard like that. That pretty. I think that's the uh, what I had for the silver tongue devil. My um, speech based character playthrough I did one time. Okay, same haircut. Just clean shave me up on the sides. Tuck it all up under my hat. All right. Yeah, maybe we shave off all your hair. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, you're hilarious. Customers always right. Talk to your mama. Yeah, my care cares about you. Now I want to... Okay, why well, can't I go in here? This is business hours. I want to do some damage to my face Doctor, because I've allegedly had a death. Right so time I'm supposed to, to get in a new injury every time I die. Uh, he won't I need do some it. Supplies, Doctor. Uh, There's a plastic surgeon like that's down bad. in the down in that uh, basement that I was trying to get into, but but I can take your money. I forgot all about taking his money. I generally don't go to doctors in this game to cure myself. There's so many ways to do it yourself. So I think during survival mode, um, these guys can heal you without the adverse effects. You know, when you take medicines or stim packs and all that kind of stuff in the survival mode it you know it can make you hungry thirsty it can give you other side effects what else can I give up I got quite a few of those Didn't say that negative one. Never mind. Okay. You got a free cap. That was a tip. Do you know Doc Carrington, by the way? You look just like him. Let's try to wait another hour. Maybe that, uh, that surgery clinic will open up. Recommended by me, myself, and I. Maybe? Maybe? No? Oh, you know what? It may be because uh, one of the files in Nick Valentine's office started a case where that guy's actually a, a killer. Maybe that started that, so he's not in there anymore. Or he's in there, but you have to get to him or something. Maybe. Oh, well, I'll deal with that soon enough, and I promise I'll get a, a nice, uh, good injury, very visible injury. Maybe a black eye or a broken nose or something like that. You know, since I'm not going to die again, I might as well get a, a very noticeable injury. We had a whole suppressed 50 cal. He had it all in one package right there. Arturo and Cleo, they're good weapons vendors. They have... A lot of good stuff. So I'm just kind of checking all the, no checking the, um, the receivers and stuff to see if they're, I didn't see any 308s. That's the big one I need right now. I really want to use that spray and pray. That really completes the look, but... These are so close quarter, but very close quarter might be okay for a shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Now we start our crime fighting Hi. career. News. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. Silver Shroud. Once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey m murdered Miss Selmy and her kid. Over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Prepare to be slouched. Galaxy News! Turn that nonsense off. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Nope, some other thing kicked off. I'll deal with that in a minute. What are you doing back here with that dead body? What's with the fancy duds? Looks you got my haircut. Expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Might be I found a new friend. You got some combat armor on there. Your crimes have gone unpunished. 
for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. Oh, straight to it then. How about a shotgun to the face? So you get a few shots. I don't want to mess around with this dude. He might be have a really powerful gun. Oh, I think he's trying to stem pack. You know what it doesn't cure? That. Ugh. Got him. Come on, be using something good like a 308 or 50 cal. Ooh, I know you're after this body now. Hmm. And that's not good. That's just a light combat rifle. Okay, he's got decent armor on. Nothing I need, but leave the calling card. Half the time I forget to do that. Ooh, look at that. Magic trick wobble. You've been slouched. Tell your friends. Okay, bye. Now let's see if uh, he mysteriously already knows. News. Psychically talk Friend to Kent. Of the show, Jerry is here. Hey, Jerry. Is this thing on? So you can steal from a trash oh. bin? Hello. It's on. Got a reason oh, to another, another synth. I just had to shoot him a synth. We're recording in here. here. Yep, synth component. Oh man. Good job, boys. Hey, just your friendly. Damn dirty synths. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. How do you know Miss that? Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade? No. <laughs> he's gonna do you guys haven't sold a tenth of the chems I have. Freedom and his chems have what, killed people. Not a dealer. Per se. And I don't get it. I'm not giving it to the kiddies. We can't let Selling AJ kill kids. Legitimate Whatever. vendors, so you know it's all on the up and up. Even though I murdered someone for them. That's beside Galaxy. the point. News. Radio. Galaxy. News. Radio. Turn that off. Is three buff. I think my yeah, my Legendary gun, obviously the Overseer's Guardian is more powerful than a shotgun. So, and we I'm dealing with three dudes this time. AJ. I may need All a few right, more shots fine. and bats. So, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. All right, AJ. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespassers. The one taking pot shots at that super mutant. That was some great aim. Nah, I'm just remember peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face. The Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? <laughs> More caps. Stop selling to children. You are not touching Kent. Or face my wrath. Screw you. Waste the free. All right. You and your pipe pistol. Ooh, these guys have submachine guns, so I'm being riddled with bullets right now. Literally. Oh, that guy's tough. Come on. And I can't tell how much damage I'm suffering. So get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh. Man, uh, automatic weapons hurt. But not as much as this. Bam. You'll never get ahead in life. Grab those submachine guns. It's another 11 bullets from just from picking up the gun. And when I get a 308 in this gun, then the spray and pray is going to need all this 45 ammo. And since it's an auto, we're going to need a lot of it. So. Okay. 
What do you think about that, Kent? Galaxy News! The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same mm, Kendra who bombed Little Joe Shack and rail? killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him. I don't know if it's really like this in, um, Galaxy in uh, Boston or whatever, but Radio. I think this is supposed to be like the Capitol building, and there's a subway the entrance right Boston, underneath. It's in the same building. In the shadows, I always thought that was kind of interesting, weird architecture. Okay, enough of that. You're Hancock a fancy band. Are Ham. Welcome in the third rail. Go on in. All right, Ham Bone. You can get a follower down here, McCready, who was a little kid from uh, Fallout 3, who's all grown up now. Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's a good, good Hello. sniper character. Not bad. Like one of them wankers from the He's got a cool hat, like a like an old timey marine hat. You I always look, look at my characters so that I can steal shroud. their clothing. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then. I'm really leaning Nothing. into this character. Kendra I love it. Is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her. For a fee, it can be arranged. Oh, you don't want to mess with the slouch. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blinders she's got with her. Nasty piece of business there. Good luck. Or maybe just one more. But if you're oh God, I love this song. Okay. This one is in a, in a building, and it's not as close quarters. At least to start that way. So I may be able to use the the spray and pray. Kind of completes the look. The uh, the old detective or gangster or whatever you want to call him. Silver Slouch. Oh yeah. It's a nasty little gun. If you put points into a commando, obviously if you have explosive rounds you always want to put it on auto, do the most damage. Um, knock up all of your, your commando skills and knock up all your explosive skills. You must be this gun is mean. one of those and most of my time playing finding explosive and uh, uh, you know guns that are not a pipe pistol or something is hard to come by you know this it's a random roll and it just doesn't happen very often so had a friend who found an explosive minigun one time that was crazy it was a long time ago You can get a burning minigun in this game, which is, you know, not bad, but it's just a little bit extra damage, but it doesn't have that splash damage, you know what I mean? Like this does. Okay, there's more. Oh, God. Vertibirds. It's always waiting for one to drop on your head. Okay. There's more mutants in this building I just don't feel like dealing with. They're nothing really. They're just more of a pain. Because I don't think there's anything even worth going in there for. Oh, uh, there's what was going on. Somebody up on that. Every time I walk out of Good Neighbor now, I hear somebody screaming. Sounds like synths dropped in on them or something. It's nerve-wracking. Oh, there. Okay, there's a mutant. Going the way I need to go. Usually you'll run into some dogs or something just walking through here, but... The randomness of these things is getting a little more crazy these days. Maybe because of the update. Okay, there's another one in there. 
All right. He seems to be in... I have a silenced weapon. Yeah, I didn't even alert that guy. He was far enough away. Okay. There we go. Dead sense. Usually a dog or something back there. Maybe he got into this fight as well. This is scavenger. I don't know if that's scavenger. I think they do always lay there, actually. So we got Institute. Looks like some raiders and super mutants all conglomerating right here in my path. Oh, look at that. Somebody killed a legendary for me. Uh, that's not bad if I didn't need the leg armor. I'll take a flight helmet. I don't have one of those. Still using the pipe weapons. That's not helping me. Skeleton. He probably, you know, started this fight. Yep, there's a dog. Free blood sample. Nice. Yeah, usually this walk down this alley is pretty uneventful. This is a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. It's making this playthrough much more interesting. There's just a lot of unknowns. A lot of more intense random stuff going on. Okay, there's a few guys in here. This is kind of close quarters, but if I can just hold them back a little bit. Get a sneak attack. That wasn't a sneak attack. Oof, this is not good. They're all kind of tucked. And I think there's a guy over here to my right as well. Ugh, I don't want to get him close to me. Thankfully, I'm so damn sneaky. They can't see me. I'm still only in caution. I think they're keying on where the bullets are ending up since the gun is silenced. But I don't want these guys charging me. I'll end up blowing myself up. Old Faithful. Come on. You come on. I don't know what that... I think that door leads upstairs, so I don't know what this dot is. It's supposed to be on my same level. Unless it's somebody that's outside the building, maybe. Where'd that little fucker go? That little fucker's down here. I'm a slouch, not a fucker. Just grabbing all the clothes I can. How did you fit that cola bottle into that damn lunchbox? Come on. Now we're getting a little silly, Bethesda. I don't think there's anything overly good down here. Uh, what's this guy? Stim pack. Machete's not going to do you much good. Man, yeah, they don't got too much. I'll grab little bits of leather here and there because I'm going to have to upgrade some armor at some point. And that leather breaks down into materials. That leather armor does. Take the elevator or we can run up the stairs. Ball bras, best moonshine. That's for the... Uh, in Diamond City, the, the bar owner, Bob Rovs. Okay. What you got? Nothing much. Care about mines. Do care about turrets. Okay, Kendra's in this room. Uh, she's a, a talking challenge. I think you can just kill her, but, you know. I want to speak as the Shroud. And hope she doesn't blow me away. And you, you're the crazy Hopefully that's a 308 it. rifle. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I'm dealing with Kendra. I do so says so right there in the subtitle. bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. 
You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> Are you called your victims villains as well? I doubt that, Kendra. You pay for your dishonesty. Critical to the face. Oh, that's gotta hurt. There we go. I don't think they can have legendary we or equipment weapons or anything like that. I'm pretty sure they can't. Regular combat rifle. There's a... You can assassinate... I guess if you're playing a bad character. I think I've gone and talked to this person once. They're just up in a building somewhere. It's kind of weird. Drugs, drugs, drugs. All money. Gears and screws. A little bit of psycho. That's the nastiest looking needle you've ever seen. Psycho. I wouldn't inject myself with that. I'm kind of uh, hurt here. So, the ultimate indignity. I will sleep on Kendra's bed. I'll take a nap next to her dead body. Because I'm such a badass. That's all. No, I don't want that. What am I doing? Dummy. Yeah, just drop these things. It's like way overweight there. I already got the bullets. All right, time to roll. Always sneaky. Run through doors, fast traveling. Always crouch. Never know what you're walking into. And if you're not seen, usually you can fast travel. So gotta go see Kent, right? He, uh, yeah, good neighbor. Duh. Trying to go to Fainwell Hall. Hello. Will not let me fast travel. It's not saying enemies are around. It's usually when it won't let you. Okay. Either I'm stupid or Bethesda's glitching and I'm betting on me being stupid, but... Okay, I guess we're walking. We're going to hoof it. It's so easy to get lost in here because, you know, it's that way. No, it's not. you got to go all the way around. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try to dump some shit right on top of me in here. Not normally, but after this update, stuff just, you know, it's getting a little hectic in, out here on these mean streets of Boston. I know there are super mutants there. Over there. Oh, okay. I don't know how many times I've walked through this pile of trash <laughs> over the years. Okay, I think those are gunners over there. I don't want to deal with them yet. We'll get there. Okay, I don't know why it wouldn't let me fast travel. That is odd. Okie dokie dokie. Telling me to go out the door too, as well, because of uh, the Shelly Tiller assassination. But I'm not going to do that. Radio. I don't kill folks that don't Another deserve special it. Special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming. A good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, Ooh. the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, the mayor be wants careful, to see Shroud. Me, huh? We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. Okay. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the sh. All right, let's go see Hancock. 
he's dressed up. I'm sure he appreciates my costume. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And then Travis? Man, he got... Mayor Hancock? Guess what someone tells me. Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. Guilty. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? It's nothing against you personally. This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book into my den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people. I love Hancock. He's a, a good few character. Faces. I respect that. So far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the getup? In real life at this point, Many I probably would drop the act and just start talking, but... The shroud. To come no on. Avail. You gotta you stay the slouch. Stop. Stay you, pal. Will. The lowlifes you took out... All belong to the same asshole, and that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone, understood. He will be judged for his I feel like I'm being Trust used me. here, he no <laughs> taking out attention. Hancock's competition. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. How do these people Smiling find I've committed all these murders within like ten minutes? And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one <laughs> is safe I'm losing my from the he's silver above shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin. And I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? I feel you, buddy. You guys are having a pot, hey? None for me, thanks. I don't do drugs. Slouch is high on life. Okay, where to? I'll tell you where we're going first. I'm going to go find that damn dog who keeps trying to ditch me. I just want to make sure he's all right, little turd. Okay, I know I called you to come with me last time when I was in power armor. Okay. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Now, I know I, I said that line, but... I didn't see the the cutaway of it, so maybe it didn't take. Maybe. Let's see if he fast travels with me. Are you here? Come on. Oh, there you are. Okay, so it's working again. Whew. All right. So before I start my inventory management and take a little nap... I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a part here. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Okay, hey Sheffield. Looks like I can finally think straight. No problem, buddy. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mad Cardigan, and we will see you in the next one.